numbers are eight to each level. That's because we follow the teaming model that is uh, a continuous support of the middle school concept that's articulated in the book Breaking Rules. So it allows us to have two teams with four core academic teachers on each team and two per grade level. Uh, if you're, it also allows us a great opportunity with class sizes to work with students one-on-one, -on -one, have them do student-centered activities. Um, it really does increase student performance with the, the 19 as your class size. And uh, the numbers right there are as a whole, so you're looking at the entire sixth grade, the entire seventh grade. They're not broken out um, as special <coughs> students or anyone receiving any kind of special services or social work. It's just the entire uh, population. So our proposed 2012-2013 budget request for accountants, as you see here, uh, in fact, you can see that there was a reduction in $2,000, and uh, basically that was exactly the money goes to uh, new novel sets and replacement novel sets uh, for our language arts teachers, and also for uh, novel sets that are in support of, uh, in, in the implementation of the new social studies curriculum. So in an effort to try to combine those two disciplines in support of each other, the language arts teachers and the um, uh, history teachers, social studies teachers, do in fact look for novels that can be dual, dually supportive of both of the disciplines. Um, library media, there is a dollar <coughs> increase. Uh, Michael, we'll talk a little more about that. Instructional materials, there is a $7,000, $250 increase request. That includes our bid order. The bid order for the building is everything that is considered consumable. We put it all together in one particular order. We, and that, in that fashion, we do get a considerable savings in shipping. We have one um, volunteer in the building um, who um, organizes it, stores it, sets it out for everyone, includes our copy paper, pens, pencils, um, folders, um, any type of, of uh, material that, that we use within the building for every single student. For instance, in the language arts, they want every student to have a folder of their own that's provided for them out of this particular uh, bid order. It also includes requests from guidance, from our art department, from PE, from any of the other um, distance <coughs> materials, any of the other disciplines within the building. UA, for instance, um, Every student in the building um, will get will be able to have access to the UA department. And almost all of that material will be called consumables. They have bridge building materials and they build bridges That's, that, that is in fact consumable. Um, so all of that is included there. Our operating expenses were reduced, as you can see, by that 3,692. Curriculum implementation was also reduced uh, because we are at this point we have implemented our math and our, our excuse me, math social studies. Uh, student activities did go up just a very small amount, $25. And our personnel totals did also increase uh, by that amount. And that's for insurance and we believe for our two RTI um, interns. And, and those are the two interns that help us run our RTI labs. Overall, we had a reduction of $23,765 on our final budget from the previous year. The way of looking at it is, as you can see here, um, pretty much we um, reduced our textbooks. They pretty much the same for library media, um, a small increase in instructional materials, reduction in operating expenses, large reduction in curriculum implementation, and student activities stay pretty much flat line. We have a new library media specialist who in a few short months has made a number of organizational and physical changes to our media center at Elliott with little or no expense to the district. This slide shows our 2012-13 requests in comparison to this year's final budget uh, for the library media cost center. Our request is currently $1 more than last year and you can see the decreased spending in library books and increases in media and media software spending. This represents an effort also to modernize our library media center and truly make it the hub of the Jared Elliott Middle School. Uh, teachers now have three different sections of the media center to go to. These are just one. Now there is um, a, a whole world mini lab in there that students can go and research. There is a back center where students can learn independently or do a mini lesson and then there's 
a science center where there can be a lesson going on. So you can have ideally three different classes using the media center instead of one before, which just allows more learning, more teaching opportunities, and definitely more research to go on. And, and I have to say that due to the uh, innovation and, and far-sightedness of, of our new media specialist, um, we've actually been able to take that one of our foreign language teachers off the cart. She's no longer on the cart. We have created a space where she can do instruction. So, Today, if you walk into the media center, you see on the right-hand side instruction going on using our LCD projector. Um, you see on the, on the left-hand side where we've got a computer research center so that, uh, and this was all without any additional funding. We, we did it internally in-house. Um, so you can bring your students into the media center. You could have instruction using the, L the LCD projector and then students could go use hard, hard materials and then they could also be working at the same time with the Materials. And in the back, we create a space where we can have our world language instruction going on. So we really have maximized use of that in this space. It's become uh, the heartbeat of the building that it was designed to be. This is just a different way of looking at it. It's a summary of a pictorial color representation of our proposed budget. Um, and you can see that um, you know, starting with the uh, percent is our, and the, our activities with um, four percent um, is textbooks um, and going on you can see that uh, seven percent is library media um, 19 percent is curriculum implementation 29 percent is instructional materials 39 percent is marketing expenses and then in conclusion our 2012-2013 final budget numbers is $23,776 less than our uh, budget year request uh, from the previous year and is, is about 0.6% less than 2011-2012 budget year request. Um, I did include in different these materials in here for you to take um, at, your, uh, at your leisure to take a look at them because some of these, uh, <coughs> actually all of these programs are near and dear to our hearts. And then the Jared Elliott After Hours and Mars program, Mrs. Best came and I think did an outstanding job with this presentation. This is a copy of her, um, of her presentation which explains the program, what we did with the program, um, you know, our talented and gifted part, special education students who participated, how the overall budget was spent, the total that we used for that budget was $7,200, the number of students that we serviced. Um, and again, we were successful um, even without transportation being provided. The um, next handout is the Morning Blast program. Again, that was a program that was run um, before school began. Um, we slightly extended home room. Um, it gives you an idea of the students that we targeted. I gave you a copy um, of some of the lesson plans that were used. And I also included um, evaluation results um, so that you can see um, the performance increase in our students and how they did pre and post tests. And there were some really remarkable um, improvements. And I also provided for you um, the RTI interns, the backup request for what those RTI interns do, or pairs do, um, if responsible for, you can see pre and post testing, individual lesson plans, testing students <coughs> starting progress, um, scheduling, directing, English, and math. They, all of the things that they do, um, and they're very effective. And last but not least, I included a copy of our professional school and um, plan for improvement.